Welcome back to Ballheader Metal, guys, and welcome back to another warning reaction, and this time it's to another Metallica cover, Atlas Rise. I'm one of those people that actually liked Hardwired to Self Destruct. Uh, I really enjoyed actually the album from Metallica. I don't care for anything that they had after Black Album and Justice for All with their Load Reload, don't like it. Death Magnetic, super forgettable. Saint Anger, don't even get me started on that album. Uh, but I did like Hardwired to Self Destruct, and Atlas Rise was an awesome song. I'm going to be interested to see how the warning does it uh, because I want them to switch it up. I want them to do something different because who needs another cover of Atlas Rise? We already know of what that song sounds like. Let these girls switch it up in their own kind of way. How are they going to compensate for not having a second guitarist? Maybe they're going to use a vocal of both three of them kind of to switch up to things and just see overall. The thing about covers, though, is whenever you do switch things up, you also kind of might alienate the fan of what who liked the original material. You never know if it's going to click with them. It's sort of like an anti-Sandman, for me, didn't particularly click. Whereas a lot of you guys just absolutely loved one and even thought it was better than the original. With that in mind, let's get in and see what we got here. I'm going to keep an open mind, but I am a critical person at the end of the day. I'll just be respectful about it. Yeah, so far it sounds great. So far, the way they kind of started, it sounds great. Obviously, they don't have the same sound that Metallica had on that album. Uh, it, they have, I would say, a more of a hard rockish kind of classic rockish sound uh, to kind of compensate for their own band's identity. Uh, let's see. So far, obviously, it's a faithful cover so far. Um, let's see. Let's see. Because Jamie's Headfield is a killer rhythm guitarist. I think people don't give him... Everybody always talk about Kirk Hammett and how good of a guitarist he can be. Uh, they don't give enough credit to James Heffield. James Heffield is a fucking kick-ass rhythm guitarist. Wasn't I right that I said it was going to be the both of them singing? Uh, but it seems like it's a, it's a common thing, right? As the, the two sisters kind of switch over. Uh, so far, great. Extremely faithful. Uh, they're not veering left or right. Uh, they're kind of playing it as it is. Uh, it's kind of interesting, right? They talk about it's one of their favorite tracks, where I wouldn't even put it on the list of my favorite from Metallica. And because probably they grew up with this album, right? The album came out now like maybe like five years ago, I think. Uh... It, they grew up with this album, probably. It's it's such a thing where we tend to criticize bands, music, movies, like, oh, it's a remake of a movie. It sucks. But this young generation likes it. Like Star Wars. Star Wars is a perfect example. I hate the new Star Wars movies. But for the young generation, that's their Star Wars movie, and that's going to get them into the old ones as well. And for me, being an older fan, I could just go back to the old movies. I don't have to watch the new stuff. I don't have to be hateful about it. Uh, so that's such a great thing to see the younger generation get into music that we love sometimes to the new material sometimes to the older material which is why it's so important to support bands like there's some bands i listen to and i know the album in the discography of this band is not the greatest but it's it's still good and it's still more of metallica or it's more of megadeth megadeth is a perfect example for me with that
I love, I know I point this out every single time. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing this, but uh, for me, it's always the attraction is their energy. They just bring such a good energy. I just wish, I want to hear this cover from them six, seven years down the line when they have really good production to be able to do a live concert and to hear every little element, how they played themselves. Because, you know, even if you play the same notes, people just tend to play just a little differently. You know what I'm waiting for, right? I'm waiting for that little switch up with that nice chunky riff that Jamie Hatfield does in, in the uh, song, especially in the music video. It looks really cool. It gets me always hyped up. I want to see how she's going to play it. <laughs> yeah, I love the head banging. <laughs> I'm like trying to resist smiling like a, like a doofus. Yeah, on a solo, she's she's not Kirk Hammett yet. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's the, the nicest, most politest kind of way. She has the right attitude. She has the right everything. She's not Kirk Hammett yet. Uh, Kirk Hammett, again, I feel like I don't listen to Metallica anymore. I've listened to those albums to absolute death, especially Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Injustice for All. I mean, like, it's just every note is a memory at that point. Um... And people just don't give them enough credit. We like to dismiss them because of how popular they got or that they sold out, which I think they did, but it doesn't stop from, from, the, from the greatness that they brought. First of all, the eyes they brought in heavy metal, uh, the greatness of their music. They have some of the strongest lyrics, I would say, in heavy metal, hands down. I did not even have to think for a second. Their lyrics are very poignant, very straightforward, and they hit hard. Uh, a lot of people wish they could like write lyrics like this. And they do have strong songwriting. People like to make fun of Lars for his drumming. He is a good drummer. He might not be the best drummer, but it works for Metallica. Uh, James Hetfield, I will reiterate, he's a kick-ass uh, rhythm guitarist. And then when they had, uh, after Cliff Burton, oh my god, Jason Newstead, he was a great bass player until they uh, castrated him on Injustice for All. Uh, but... I'm getting off track here.
<laughs> I love that she just comes out and dresses. She's a total badass. She kind of owns uh, this whole thing. It's like, I'm going to dress the way the hell I want to dress. And I want to play the music the hell I want to play music. I think that's the best kind of way. It's to be yourself 1000%. And for that alone, I like this cover. I think it's a great cover. Uh, even if it lacks something in technicality, the more they make up for their for their just infectious attitude. She got some breath control, by the way. If she's drumming and, and singing like that. There's only one time I saw a drummer sing, and it was in a death metal band called Apsu. And this dude was fucking just doing guttural vocals like crazy with a screech voice that he has, Prescriptor. And drumming, he's a phenomenal drummer. He's super fast. Super fast drummer. He, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you a little side story. He auditioned for Slayer. And the, at that time, it was Kerry King... Who told who basically said you're too fast and aggressive for Slayer? Who's too fast and aggressive for Slayer? Proscriptor. I, I applaud. That was great. I liked it. I really, really liked it. Um, yeah, it was a faithful cover. Uh, for me, the, the, the highlight was the performance itself. I'm glad I picked uh, this one and not the studio one. Uh, so I can see their energy with the crowd. Uh, yeah, I kind of said everything I had to say. I want to hear from you guys and what you have to say. Just keep in mind, I understand that they're still learning. They're not at the top of their game. That's why I said that she's not Kirk Hammett yet. And it's in no way trying to like crap on her or something like that it's more of uh constructive criticism but also with love because i i love their energy i love what she represents i love what all the three sisters represent and it's i'm all for it and they're just absolute badasses, badasses in my eyes make sure you guys enjoy for the rest of your day and if you like this kind of content make sure to subscribe down below